Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in a data center because um, somebody is keeping me busy and it's, um, it's Hewlett Packard Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Somebody asked me in the comments not long ago why I did not like Hewlett Packard uh, Enterprise equipment and I have been thinking about that and it's not as if I don't like the equipment. I actually do believe they make some really awesome servers. The problem is that they just don't run as good as a lot of other equipment that I have been handling over the years like IBM and Lenovo. I just thought that I might share that today because I am here and I'm going to be replacing some drives. Together with that I'm battling uh, HP to deliver the last drives. Um, we have these, well it's, it's solid state drives and they're pretty expensive. It's like enterprise level solid state disks. This is a uh, 1.92 terabyte drive. I was told these are not very good but this one is okay. This is a, well, it's called a 5100 Max. Oh, probably there. And um, this is the one that we are changing to. We had gotten a lot of 4600 drives and they have just, in the generation 10 of the DL380, they have just been failing and failing and failing. In a total, we have bought 50 of these drives and I have replaced probably the two that we are replacing here today. Uh, that will be f about 20 failed drives in that server and it's not as if the drive is really dead or bad. It's just some kind of a firmware issue where the firmware will tell the, the, the operating system that this drive is bad or the firmware will tell the disk that oh, you're bad and it will tell us that the disk is worn out. I have another two servers. I, have, I bought 12 of these HP DL380 generation 10 and they were gonna be used for exchange servers, a uh, new exchange setup. Luckily, it hasn't been, well, it's a slow process moving to another setup, uh, kind of. Um, and with all these issues, that has been a good thing because if we had to just flip over, well this would have been a lot bigger problem and it is already quite a big problem. So let's see what we have here. Okay, HP has this um, system that they call OneView. This is something that you buy extra when you buy the server. I have purchased all the licenses so we're all good. Um, we have these 12 hosts here and two of them has yellow dots. And if we go on one of them, let's take number 25. Uh, we should be able, it's, it says up here that the logical drive status is blah, 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 bad. Let's make that bigger. And we can go and visit that. This is the program that gathers all the, the information from all the servers. Then we can go down to the individual ILO adapter on the server, like here. And uh, yeah, there's some security, blah, blah, blah. Um, over here under system information, we get the system and devices on from the ILO adapter. And we can see storage is degraded. So if we go to storage up here, we get an overview of what the storage looks like. And these servers are actually equipped with quite a lot of drives. We can just, maybe we can see that. There is a lot of drives down here. But the two first ones are the ones with all the problems. Yeah, they're logical drive number one. Uh, it has two of these solid state drives and one of them are gone. We can see that this drive has just, it has disappeared. It's, it's not there anymore. Let's go see the server. Here we have the servers and we can see that number 25 here, orange there, that's not a good thing. And we have the next one, that's number 27 here, also orange. And it tells us, does it? Well, it doesn't really tell us which drive has failed, but it's 
this one or it's this one and it's probably that one because that one is not doing anything and the same thing down here HP was supposed to send us drive to replace all of these uh, most of the drives are 10 terabyte hard drives spinning disks they are all fine no problem whatsoever then there is two SSDs in here for the operating system and the, the exchange part the rest of it is for data um, and these solid state drives has been failing from a yeah from one end to the other so I'm guessing that it's that one but I better go make sure okay um, it doesn't say much physical drive port 3 box 3 drive 4 mm, maybe box 3 bay 4 wonder if that adds up uh, let's go check that remember that that's uh, box 3 bay 4 okay the only way that adds up is if each of these rows are a box that would make that box 3 bay 4 so um, let's hope that's right um, we'll take that out and be very careful to take the right one out otherwise um, we're not going to do that yet I'm going to show you something okay um, yeah box 3 bay 4 so um, before I take that drive out um, these servers are set up to actually report into HP if something is wrong and they need spare parts and hardware is broken and stuff like that and uh, if I just pull the drive out it, it should already have have sent in a fail report I'm pretty sure that it's not working correctly uh, we have had all the problems you can imagine with this uh, one view thing um, let's not go into that but uh, for good measures we're gonna go into remote support here and we're gonna go to service event and we are going to, uh, where is it, set a maintenance mode, or set the server in maintenance mode there. And we will say that that's okay for the next four hours. Maintenance. Yes, apply. There. That way the server is not going to report into HP if I do anything with it. So, which server did I pick here? Did I take... I information I took number 25 good so let's go remove the drive from 25 Okay, so these are the drives that are failing and um, as you can see the server because it uses spinning disks it uses 3.5 inches hard drives here and uh, what you do is you take a normal SSD and you put it in a big cage like that and it looks like a 3.5 inch hard drive uh, it's really just a tiny little SSD down here and these are the one that has been failing they are really Intel drives but they are HP branded so um, doesn't matter it's HP's problem well and it's definitely also our problem because we have had nothing but problems with this uh, so I need to remove the screws so that I can uh, put this drive in instead so we're gonna be doing that normally HP would send me a drive with a bracket uh, like this but well they sent me the wrong drives they sent me uh, 35 drives uh, to replace some of the drives that I've broken I was sure they were gonna be sending me 50 drives haven't received the last ones yet so I asked them um, I replaced we have two backup servers and those had uh, 26 drives that needed replacement so we replaced that that was two and a half inch drives and then we needed um, 24 drives for these uh, exchange servers and I asked HP what to do about that and 
and they actually suggested that I should just remove these. It's gonna be hell when this breaks uh, and I need a replacement drive because they're gonna send me the wrong drives. But well, they, um, that was their solution. So I'm not especially fond of this. So I'm gonna replace that. And in the bottom there are, there are two different screws or uh, bits. There is a Torx and it's a number 10. And then there is a Phillips. And that's the number small. I have no idea. Does it say? It's a zero. Phillips head zero. There and this comes out. The big cage. Then there is there is two more screws right there. It's a lot of work to replace these. There, Let's put that one in instead. Goes that way. Oh, yeah. so, and this one failed a long time ago, and HP um, we waited a long time for. Well, they don't fail every day, but then just someday they will just fail like three of them. And that's a big problem because normally we do build our systems with redundancy but most redundancy don't really take into account that three drives can fail at once. So we have had to reinstall our backup servers for a couple of a couple of times actually and the backup people well they are not fond of that. So that really sucked. And yeah I do believe that I I did a video where I told you that my boss was really mad. So I took the drive out and uh, the new one is still on the table. So right now it looks like this and it looks very similar to what we were seeing before. So it is as if it did not see the drive at all. So let's go try and uh, put, pop the new one in. So we have that there. That should be ready to go. And it's gonna check out the new drive. It, it's got a new toy there, and it's gonna look at that. And it's gonna be starting to uh, replicate the data from this drive and over to this drive. So I have to mark this because I am not gonna be able to remember that I replaced that one. So we're gonna find something to mark this with. Um, last drive in number 25 but we're gonna take out this drive in number 27 the one that is also failed and I'm gonna do the same thing yep same drive so let's see it hasn't done anything here yet maybe I need to refresh this page for it to do that Storage is still degraded. Storage. But does it see anything new? It actually does. It has come up that there is a new drive in box tree bay 4. It sees something new. And we can see that there is some new firmware here. It's a firmware version that. And up here it's a firmware version that. This is an HPG2. I do believe that HP has come out with an HPG3, but well, I'm looking forward to getting new drives instead because they have fucked that one up. Okay, next disc is uh, replaced, so let's go swap that out as well. put a little green label on, I have one just like it here, 
so that I know that these two has new drives in them so um, this one is still working on transferring data from this drive to this drive it's a RAID 1 mirror those two drives it's going to be doing the same thing down here that takes a while in the meanwhile I'm going to be starting to uh, replace I'm going to replace the drives in the top one and this one as well because I have two extras with me down here I just replaced this one this one came out of number 24 this is still a good drive it hasn't failed yet but as they they fail from one end to another uh, it's gonna be replaced with this uh, 5100 something drive probably not an Intel drive I'm not sure but well this one has the firmware HPG 6 um, so it's not the same firmware as all of the others but well I'm gonna be doing this to 24 and 26 as well so number 25 that was the one that we started with that has become green that also goes with number 27 also became green I took out the drive in number 24 and 26 they are right now complaining if we take number 24 here you can see that um, it's degraded and it's ready to rebuild it's probably already rebuilding we are just not seeing it yet bad information number 25 is okay it is also degraded and ready to rebuild it will rebuild these them itself but it doesn't tell you that that is what it's doing so I the first one I did I tested it out to see if uh, this would work and I used a lot of time trying to find out why how how would I make it rebuild by itself it did do that eventually by itself so irritating but let's go see the server so I marked them with some green tape the drives that I have replaced because at some point I will be replacing the other drive and it's important not to take the wrong drives out this is just one issue with these HP machines down here we have some other HP servers and these are the DL560 uh, these are bought to VMware hosts right now they are not on uh, we have another issue with these hosts and that is the network card these servers has two 10 gigabit network cards in them and they are also Intel network cards each of the cards has uh, two ports so a total of four 10 gigabit network cards but the bloody driver for VMware 6.5 does not work on this network card with this server if you install Hewlett Packard Enterprises version of VMware with all their good drivers in it well the network card will just randomly drop connection and kill the server uh, kind of well the network connections to the virtual machines will die and that's the same as just well almost the same as just turning off the server we have only had three of these servers in production and two of them has already failed in that way and uh, well HP has not solved this problem because it's actually an Intel network card that's in there so we are rather disappointed with that and uh, well and that is kind of why I do not recommend HP equipment so yeah I buy a lot of server equipment and, and the reason I don't recommend Hewlett Packard Enterprise equipment that much is because it's giving me way too much work I have had more I have had more work out of this HP equipment the last year than I've had the well probably five years with IBM equipment like the same amount of fixing equipment and replacing stuff and communicating with the company and it's it's just a drag I'm waiting for these discs this process has been going on for a month and yeah it's tiresome it's just I don't recommend it but well thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye